Before 1963, the Volta River used to run through this community, Devime. The Agbonobu tributary, as it was called, was about 4 miles long and 30 yards wide. The name of the lost tributary, Agbonobu, means we are alive because of this water body. Residents relied on the water body for their livelihood and transportation. This stream is the stream we have been using some years back. Eh? Then it was flowing. Eh? We, use it, we, we use it to go to, we use a canoe on it to add to Sogakope and other places down, downstream. Following the construction of the Akotsombo Dam, the river running through this community became stagnant. Weeds started growing in it, and now this is what has become of it. It's about six meters deep, and it's already a forest now, serving as a breeding ground for dangerous reptiles. It has served as a breeding place for these reptiles, like these pythons. Even last week, a very big python was killed just by the school over there. Uh -huh. There are crocodiles and other uh, predators in this. Now that the water body is no more, residents of this fishing community have lost a major livelihood. Now they are struggling to survive. Uh, this uh, lake by name Agbonobu, we do casting, plenty of nets, hooking, so we can get feed for sale for mm -hmm. our food staffs. But after the Kosomo Dam, nothing again. Yeah. So we are in difficulties. As I'm speaking now, there are some children in my school whose parents, because of hardship in the community, they left the community to the uh, lakeside. They, they, they normally call it Jigba Yeji area, which makes it very difficult for some of the school children uh, to even get something to eat to come to school. The situation is same in many nearby communities. Residents want the Volta River Authority to help them deal with the situation to restore the water body. Apart from uh, the construction of the dam, destroying lives in terms of farming, fishing, and others, one thing that we may we, we always forget is the mass exodus of our youth from these communities to the urban centers and other busy areas because there is nothing they can do after. I think the, the weed can be removed from the river for us. For the thousands of residents here, it's a bigger problem than just job losses to the fishermen and those who used to smoke fish in this community and those who used to operate boats in this community over the Volta River. It's also about a valued heritage site that's gone as a result of the inability to protect the water body in this particular community. Well, they're hoping to see what the future will bring. For Joy News, Joseph Upokugapo, Devime, Volta Region.